Hello, in this video John's going to show you how to deadhead our rhododendron bush. It's coming up to the end of August, we've got some new buds appearing, it's time to whip off the old so the plant can put all its energies into giving us a lovely new show of blooms next spring. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we hope we can help you develop your gardening skills by using the plants here in our garden in Somerset to show you some different tips on propagation, how to grow some vegetables, a little bit of pest control and much much more. So if you enjoy learning those things do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button, there's no charge and don't forget to push the all important notification bell, it just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Right, so we're looking at this rhododendron. It's quite recently planted, as you can see. I'm very fond of it. It was a present, but I'm uh, keen to get going. I'm lucky because my pH here is a, of a neutral, so that means I can grow rhododendrons. A lot of people, if you've got a, 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 an alkaline, or you live in your chalky areas, you won't be able to grow rhododendrons out in the garden to grow them in pots. But here we are, uh, and you can see that this one has flowered. It flowered really very well. Um, and up here we have the dead flower heads and really to, have to improve the chance of this plant I'm going to have to take that flower head right off and a, just a gentle tweak and off it comes. I should have done it a little earlier actually, a bit late doing this, but you can see already the new buds are, are coming out from the side and forming so in some ways it's good that I'm doing it late because you can see the effect actually happening. And so I go, just go around the plant, just taking off these gently. It's very difficult, very, uh, you've got to be very careful that you don't knock the, 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 the new buds, but you can just give them a gentle tweak and off they come. I know a lot of, uh, it's a lot, a lot of fuss, but I know some of the really big rhododendron gardens do this, so they obviously think it's worth it to improve the show of rhododendrons each year. There we go, it's looking very nice now. Um, no need to prune this one at all, it's, it's all still good in shape. There's some dead flower heads going off. There's another one that I can remove. That's the piece you take off, you see. Um, and yeah, it doesn't take long to complete this job because it's a nice small plant. Um, but what you can see uh, on, on some of these is that the new buds are, flower, are forming already. So that's, that's next year's plant, plant coming on and it'll be helped by removing this. By removing this, of course, you're taking away any seeding potential. So if you want to save seeds, you don't want to do this. But most of us just want to get nice flowers for next year. And so the energy of the plant will go into producing uh, more growth as opposed to uh, 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 seeds. More growth and of course, more flowers for next year. So there we are. Again, when you finish these sort of jobs, make sure the plant has a really good water. It's very, very important. Soak it, give it a good drench, make sure it gets right in. It's no good just getting a watering can and, and putting a little bit over the top. Uh, put a great big, put a can in and soak it so that the roots get a good drench. And that way you'll help it to get going. Uh, things like rhododendrons and camellias, now is important to keep them watered because that, now's the time they're forming a new buds. Camellias especially into, into September as well, like, a, like a, a, good water, a good water. There you are, that should give us a nice display for next year, which we'll look forward to seeing in due course. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here in Somerset. We very much enjoyed having you. And if you like that and would like to learn some more, do push the subscribe button. It just means you're following us, there's no charge. And don't forget to push the all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.